another movie review. Hey, what's up? Kyle here again. I'm um, with my wonderful, beautiful girlfriend Lisa here again. Mm -hmm. XS Pinto Star XX. Hey guys, what's up? And uh, ready or not, he, we're ready to, hit, to do another movie review. Mm -hmm. We just saw Ready or Not, and um, I'm not ready to review this. To review this movie. I am. Or or not, I don't know. <laughs> I'm ready or not to review this movie? This movie. <laughs> this movie was terrible. Um, I just, this movie was sucked. I wouldn't say it sucked, but it just wasn't a good movie. I mean, a lot of people are making it out to be the most, like, hyped movie of the summer. Yeah, I mean, I, we, I mean, we did see a really better movie. It was, like, Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark. Where is the appreciation for that? I know. They gave more into this. But I think I have to be fair, though, the effects, the gore, though, the gore is really well done. The gore is very well done. Like, the I gore. I can't talk too long because there's a movie going on. Yeah, Dinger Bridge, too. Uh, so we're trying to like wrap, make this yeah, review. Yeah, we tried to go down there and film. But then in film the review, but there, it was, it was like so noisy. much noise, and this, uh, we're trying to do a different like setting. Yeah, a different but setting anyways, each time. Let's make this short today. But um, so what did you th so what like give you your honest your opinions and like you know like give your thoughts about this? What's your thoughts about this? I think to be fair though, I think this movie I think was a little too overhyped. Mm -hmm. And like I mean the actress who did a really good job though, I have to give props to the actors though. They did really good. I don't think it's the actress' fault to be honest. That the, that the movie was eh. I mean I liked it. I just wish the writing was a little bit better. I mean I've been hearing reviews saying like it's really good. Yeah. Like, and the house setting kind of gave me like a Haunted Mansion vibe. That's what I heard from Beyond the Trailer. I watched yeah. her. And she mentioned that um, this horror movie actually kind of gave me like a Haunted Mansion type of vibe. Yeah, it was like a Haunted Mansion type of vibe, but but with blood and gore. And like, exactly. And it's a mystery kind of thriller, but it has dark comedy in it. And it was just so weird how this, how this, how this turned out. Like, this is such a weird movie. Like, a very bloody movie. I did not expect all the blood and gore and guts and things. And it's a, it's like, it's like a, it's like Clue, kind of like a Clue movie. It's a, but it's about a family. Let, let's tell it's about. It's about a family that killed. Like, what, why don't you tell them? Basically, it's, the plot is very simple. Basically, there is this fam. There is this girl named Grace, played by this girl. And it looks like Emma Watson. But not Emma, Emma Watson. Emma Roberts. Em, not Emma Roberts. Emma Emma Stone. Emma Stone. We there you go. We always get the. We always get those. those Two Emmas confused. Three, those, those those Emmas confused. But it's actually played by a girl named. I forgot we the always, actress's we, it name. It looks like Emma Stone. Yeah, but it's by Samara something. I know yeah, she she's played in the, the Babysitter. Yeah, that's what I only know her the from. The Netflix movie, right? Yeah. And basically, I gotta see that. Did you see that? Yeah, it's really good. You gotta probably, watch it. Probably better than this movie. Oh, it's really good. But anyways, back to the movie review. Basically, it was about this this bride who basically gets married to a guy. Basically, has a family who kind of play this game. Basically, it's the family dish, tradition saying every time you go into the family, yeah, you you play. you play, you get a card, and and, and it turned out to be hide and seek. And hide and seek, which is like a weird game for a ritual family like this, but pretty yeah. much it's kind of like more like ready or kill, like hide yeah. and kill, pretty much. Hide and kill, pretty much. Uh huh. And it's like the family that kills, mm -hmm. and it's like the, if they don't kill, they have to do a ritual. And if they don't, like it's like one of those cult movies. And if they I don't, expect and to if be like that. Kill, if they don't kill somebody, that before the before dawn, they all turn to they all die and turn to dusk or something. I forget. It's, it's just so weird. It's, it has a good plot, but it's it's been done so many times. But I, I like it. It's, some, some things are good about it, but some it's just so weird how like it 50, turned 50. out. Like fifty, some of the comedy was a little flaw. And like it was, it was some of it was funny, but some of it was just so stupid and weird. I don't know. What do you think of this? Like, I think to be fair though, I don't. I think this. I think this should have gotten an Amazon Prime or Netflix release. Yeah. I mean, they'll pick this movie up. I mean, uh, Knives in, Out looks kind of like this movie too, but Knives Out looks actually a little better. Mm. I don't know how that. Good at least that. Good. At least that cast has. We saw like, a trailer for that. Yeah, like, we saw a trailer for that. At least the cast is like well, more known people. Well, we know. Dale, Dale Craig. I'm not a big fan of Dale Craig, but we know Dale Craig is going to be in that. Chris Evans and a lot of other people. Jamie Lee Curtis. Jamie Lee Curtis. Oh, 
I or loved, Scream Queen. Scream Queen, Jamie Lee Curtis. Anyways, back to uh, Ready or Not. Ready or Not. But basically, I thought the film was. I thought it was like pretty fun though. It was a pretty fun date night film. Uh -huh. I mean, I recommend it if you guys like campy films like this. It's, it's so weird. How if you guys like to weird stuff like this. How the ending turned out and like you know it's twists and turns everywhere. A lot of twists. A lot though. of twists. Lot of twists, twists especially the third act. I don't want to spoil anything. Yeah. But um, out of ten stars being the best, what would you give this? I think to be honest. I'll give it like, <laughs> uh, to be honest, I'm giving it a, a 7 or 8 out of 10 because the gore is good, comedy was good, mm. the main girl, I loved it, it was, she was fantastic. What was her name? Samara, I forgot her name, but yeah. it was like Samara something. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't know anybody else in this book. I didn't, about. yeah. A lot of, I think yeah. I knew the the, the 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 mother, but I don't know her name. Like, we'll look it up later. Yeah, but um, out of ten stars, what'd you say? I said eight out of ten because eight out of ten. Yeah, I I would normally give this a ten out of ten, but I think I have to be honest with this. I think this if this moves Netflix ten out of ten, but if you want to spend all your money just to see this, I don't think it's really worth it. I would wait until this comes like on Blu-ray or DVD. It's like a or a library. It's like a dark comedy horror, like mystery kind I, of like. I love dark. I mean, to be fair, I the love dark was very creepy. A very creepy setting, and it I was, love the it setting. It was very well done, but oh yes, it just wasn't a very great movie. It just was just so weird and strange and like bizarre and like not mm -hmm. just not my taste. I'd expect it to be like a cult movie, to be honest. It's not a cult movie to me, but uh, out of ten, stars being the best, I give it a seven out of ten. Yeah, not That's... not not a recommended movie to see. But um, some of it is not some bad. Of, some of it's some of it is is, is good. Some parts are is good parts about it, and there's bad parts about it. Like 50-50. So would you recommend them go see it? Uh, to be fair though, if you guys are into these type of films, I mean, I if personally like silly, them, if but it's silly, like you know, like ridiculous, yeah. like you know, like it was crazy. Like my friend warned me this movie I don't was know crazy. How to explain it, like how kind of weird movies like these, these mis these kill like ready or not can't like killer game movies like you know like kind of like killer games and kind of like hide and seek like that movie hide and seek and like these movies like you know where they're like you know like killing people like they're like pl playing games in the mansion like kind of like you know like kind of like those like. Mm -hmm. Like it's just weird, like you know, kind of like a, a, a killer family kind of cult kind of movie. If you like those type of movies, yeah. and like you know these like weird like type of movies, like, like how to like, like how do I explain it? Like you know, these, it's like, like more like satanic, like, like satanic, like hide and seek kind of game movies. Like, there's like actually killer, it's, it's like killer games and and hide and seek that movie hide and seek with uh, Rob De Niro. That's what I was about to say. Yeah, I never seen that movie. It but was really yeah. good. Yeah. Sorry. No, you know. <laughs> but um. I wouldn't recommend seeing this. It, I, you know, but uh, if you like these type movies, see it. Yeah. Anyway, though, guys, hope you enjoyed this movie review that we did. Thanks a lot for watching and for subscribing. Definitely give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed these, vi these videos. Leave a comment below. Hit that like button and, and please rate, subscribe. Check out my girlfriend Lisa on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. F follow her on Tumblr and Instagram. And uh, subscribe to our XX Mental Star XX mm -hmm. on YouTube. Yep. And uh, thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see y'all later. All right. All right. Peace. I'm, I'm, I'm ready to get out of here. <laughs> Are you ready or not? I'm ready to get out of here. Like, ready or not? Ready, ready or not? Are you ready to play hide and seek? Where do you, you want to? In the theater. Why would you play hide and seek in the theater? I'm ready to hide. You no. hide, and I'll go seek. No. Hide. No. Hide. Hi, hi, I'm hiding from her. I'm hiding from her. <laughs> See you guys later.